It's the latest in Army gear. It helps save lives and enables communication between soldiers. Melissa Bell takes us out to Cal River's driver's course as Fort Benning soldiers test the latest in New Age headgear systems. New technology was unveiled at Fort Benning as the Maneuver Battle Lab tested a vital piece of a soldier's personal protection equipment, the helmet. But this isn't just any headgear, it's headgear that boasts improved ballistic materials, better face and eye protection, and enhanced communications all in one package. Known as Helmet Electronics and Display System Upgradable Protection. Or more simply, heads up. Bravo 1, Bravo 2, Roger, we're crossing checkpoint one time now. One of the things that soldiers deal with right now, mounted soldiers deal with, is they carry two helmets. They carry their advanced combat helmet and they carry their combat vehicle crewman helmet. So if you're trying to manage two helmet systems, whether you're mounted or dismounted, that can be a challenge. So one of the ideas today was to display that a mounted or dismounted soldier could wear one headgear system and still be able to perform their mission. The Heads Up program has been a four-year effort to solve real-world problems with currently fielded headgear systems. This capability was displayed to Army officials as soldiers with actual combat experience tested the equipment at mission speed. Roger, good copy, drop and ramp. So what we had today was two dismounted soldier squads with two mounted soldier Bradleys. They conducted an IED event, uh, resistance to contact, followed a, an insurgent, I have eyes on one man with a shovel. I'll copy, over. Was able to go in and clear the building while the Bradley provided cover support. What we demonstrated was that both these sets of soldiers, even though their common skills and tasks and their job on the battlefield is different, they could all wear that one helmet system. This feedback is gathered from soldiers experienced in current conflicts and is crucial as these helmets still face modifications based on soldier recommendations. One, M16, A2. Breathing-wise, everything was good, you know, radio connection, being able to hear, you know, squad leaders, team leaders, be able to communicate, everything was fine. Um, no fog, no, no smearing or anything in that nature, and I feel that everything went smooth. It'll be definitely be useful for the mounted patrols with, with the mandible and the visor so you can stand up and if you get an IED blast, a shrapnel will bounce off here, bounce off the visor, and... Uh, that the dust that'll knock down on the dust, especially if they, they get like some oxygen system or a little bit more padding around the mandible. As these soldiers test this equipment, they've been downrange and know what's at stake. Since this heads up technology aims to save lives. You know, it, it sucks to lose guys downrange. It's a horrible feeling. So any way that you can uh, bring all your guys home, it, it definitely helps out a lot. Whether it be over the advanced combat helmet or combat vehicle crewman helmet, every soldier in this demonstration prefers this new and advanced headgear system. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.